set up CI CD, we'll need to create some policies or a policy that will enable a few commands like updating ECR, pushing, updating ECS. So we'll create a policy, another user, and we'll apply that policy and then we'll use those credentials in GitHub. Again, here are some helper functions to do all of this, but you can use your CLI or you can use the AWS UI for that. So here it created the policy, the user attached the policy. And you can go in your AWS credentials to get the secret and the key ID. So we have documentation for all of this. You could follow along the documentation for more details. Now let's go ahead and commit some of our code. Make sure you also have your GitHub repository already created. Great, we added all of that. And let's add the remote URL. <clears throat> let's see. Actually, Okay, never mind. Everything looks good. Let's go back. Let's go ahead and add all of these again. Uh, yep, looks good. Okay, let's add. Yeah, let's just add all of it instead of one by one. Now let's go ahead and commit this. This will be our first commit. And we'll need to get a remote URL, add an origin remote. Oh, it's supposed to be get remote add origin. Now let's go ahead and push this. And from the Terraform, step, the Terraform apply block, it created a GitHub actions workflow YAML file for us. Here we can see that it tried to run it, but it failed because we need to add our access key and secret ID into the repository secrets. So here I added that. And again, you can get these from your AWS credentials that was created during the setup that we just ran. Now let's make a change to our code and then push it. And then that will kick off the GitHub action. So let's see, we can, let's remove some unused imports. That looks like there's just only one unused import. But that's enough. Let's go ahead and open our terminal. And let's go ahead and commit this code and push it. Okay, it looks good. And I, yep, let's just commit all of it and let's push it. And I'll give it a description. Removed unused imports. All right, let's push it and we'll see the GitHub action kicking off. Normally, you'd push it to a different branch, create a pull request, get it reviewed and merged in. But for now, we're just pushing it straight. Okay, it's gonna take some time, but it kicked off.